You're turning into Calvin and Stevens, another POV. What's your point of view? Let's go. Over time, over time, I have a mind. I was in that Chevy playing savage life. Niggas looking like I had it wrong. Now the niggas know I had it right. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, you fucking assholes? You Christian, you Satanists, you agnostics, you Catholics, you Jews, women of God, men of God. It's the podcast, just another POV episode, Nipsey Hustle. There is no number or episode, episode 60 for Rolling 60s. I'm not affiliated. True. Um, <laughs> it's your boy, Hard by Cow, Yo. Hard from the start. Um, I'm not going to add any more miscellaneous names today, man. It's your host. I got my fucking fabulous one of a con co-host right here. Let yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Juicy Steve in the motherfucking building. You know what time it is, man. It's a serious, serious episode for us. Hit this one hit a little harder than all the other videos we have done in the past. Go ahead, tell nah, me. Nah, there is one more I like more than this one. There's more important to me for sure. Oh. But as far as celebrity deaths and celebrity tragedies for sure. Yeah, for sure. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I meant by that. Oh, okay. Like, okay gotcha. like a tribute video. This is probably this one hits harder than all the other videos. Right, right, for sure, for sure. Um sure. Yeah, man. No surprise. You guys already um if you haven't figured it out, Nipsey Hussle has died. He was murdered. Um, he was shot six times in Crenshaw outside his marathon store that he put in his own community for his mm-hmm. own people. To bring and, it up. And one of his own people shot him six times and, uh, kicked, him and kicked him in the head. Then rode off. Um, Eric Holder sucked a dick. Eat a dick. Um, you're probably going to suck a lot of dick and eat a lot of dicks and take a lot of dick mm-hmm. um, in prison when you go there. Um, one big reason this shit hit harder it's just because of who Nipsey was, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Of course, none of us knew him. Mm-hmm. None of us really know any celebrity. Yeah. But everything he stood for is more than just, ah, oh, some other rap nigga, mm-hmm. like some other dude just talking about jewelry, cars, yeah. clothes, hoes, the things that I do love and enjoy hearing. But he was more than that. Mm-hmm. Um, he talked about putting money back into the community. He yeah. was trying to tell young niggas how to invest, how to become a boss, buy land, eat better, eat clean. Mm-hmm. It was just different from the usual entertainer that we're, we're used to seeing. So. He was low key too. Like he was, he was, he was known, but for good stuff. Like he wasn't out here talking that shit. Besides when he smacked that dude. Yeah, in the face. yeah, yeah. I mean, hey man, but the gangsta yeah, side got to come he, out every now. Yeah, he had to. Like, but he was never like in the headlines doing bad things. He was never really in the headlines like doing good things, right, but he right. was doing good things. Like, no, he was in the headline doing good things. I mean, you yeah. you had to look for it yeah, a little bit more. It wasn't, but it wasn't like Nipsey Hussle. Well, yeah, Jonas TMZ's Hussle. not rushing to hear yeah, no good they, positive yeah, shit. We don't. So, the world is not trying. So to hear probably that. a lot of people didn't know. They probably just oh yeah he's another rapper. So but he was much more than a rapper to his community. Like to me, he, he was just a rapper. Right, right. But to people in his city, he was the man. He ran this city. That's his city. His store, his community. He's. I can. How much money do you think of his own money is in that community? Nah, man, I couldn't tell. Too you. much. Not too much, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot more than the usual entertainment. Yeah, he gave back to his community more than the usual. Entertainment. Anybody I know of, right? So. so that's definitely why it hit different. Um, it's never a good time when anyone dies. You know, R.P. Mac Miller. But even when he died, it was a little bit different. Mm-hmm. I hate to pin two dead celebrities against each other, but fuck it. It's what we're doing here on just another POV. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, man, it's just another point of view. It's just our opinion. Mm-hmm. Or this one's just mine. I can't say this is how he feels. But, you know, Mac Miller was a sad situation. You know, I listened to Mac Miller in high mm-hmm. school. Um, even when I got out of school, I fucked with Mac Miller. Yeah. Um, And it sucked that he overdosed or killed himself. I'm not sure yeah. what you, exactly. We'll never know. Yeah, well, you don't know. But that's a sad situation. But at the same time, it's like he caused it. Maybe he didn't know he was going to die, but he knew he was doing drugs. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. He knew the risk. He knew the risk. He he I, might not have known exactly what the outcome was, but he put himself mm-hmm. in a bad situation. Yeah. You know. I would, I'd say for me, XXX was probably, for me, because I yeah. listened to his music a lot more than Nipsey's. Right. And I've always, I always see videos of him. So, like, I was more involved with him than I was Nipsey. So, that one hit me a little harder. Right. So, that shit sucks. But, I mean, I don't wish death on anybody. Like, it still hits me. It still hurts. I got feelings and shit. Right. But. It just sucks that he had to go out that way. Nipsey had to go out that way with his family, his his beautiful wife, right. his kids. His like he had a legacy. Now, I just feel like every. It seems like every rapper's life that he was in or in studios with or hung out mm-hmm. with, like he changed their life. 
Like everyone had yeah. something positive to say about him. You just know stories like, man, yeah. Nipsey's really your fuck, nigga. Y'all didn't yeah, know. Yeah. Like, it just seemed to always be positive vibes, yeah, a good yeah. message. Like He would never, like, talk shit to you. He'd only talk up yeah, to you about was, the shit you do. Right. He was never on Instagram Live fucking talking yeah. shit about young niggas can't make music. Mm. He was just always out the way and uh, just doing good shit for the community, man, and being positive, being a fucking role model, showing niggas, yeah. hey, man, you can boss up. You can you can come from being a gangbanger in L.A., to people feeling like, oh, you're going to be dead or in jail to being a boss man, and yeah. a good husband, and a community leader, and all these other things. And he didn't care if they passed him up, either. Oh, not at all. He wanted he wanted you to pass him up. He right. wanted you to get to where he was at, or any progression is good, but he wanted to see you make it to where he's at, and then pass him up. Right, for sure. So, so yeah, that shit definitely hit hard, man. Uh, I'm not going to say I cried. I don't blame anyone if that's how they feel. Yeah. Um, I didn't cry, but I definitely sat there for a minute and was just like, like, like even when I found out he got shot six times in my head, I'm still sitting there like, ah oh, man, like he's gonna go to the hospital, he's gonna come back, yeah. the album's gonna be great, like we're cool, bro. Just, but yeah. then when my homeboy hit me, he was like, nah, brother, he's dead. Like, yeah, they, he's pronounced dead. I was like, that's when it really hit when me. When somebody, again. I had read the news and it said somebody had died. I was like, nah, it, it wasn't. It's not Nipsey. Right, it, it had just, to be one just, of his guys because his guys got in front of him and like da 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 da. Right. And then I found out, I said, oh, I was at work. I said. Oh, bro, that sucks yeah. ass. Yeah, that, that shit was kind of crazy, man. And, uh, man, what was ass about, I mean, it was already ass because nigga died, but what was super ass about it was all the conspiracy theories, bro. That came out as all soon as he got Y'all shot. niggas didn't give this man no time to be dead, bro. Y'all didn't, y'all didn't give your, your minds time to process even 24 hours. Like, he died, and two hours after, people were like, yo, so check this out, man. He was about to release this Dr. CB uh, documentary, right? And what happened was, yeah. Dr. CB, he was finding the natural cure for AIDS through uh, minerals and things like that. And he mysteriously died from pneumonia right before, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. when Nipsey was about to drop it, you know, they had to come and kill him, too. Yeah. And, yeah, if you take the time to put it on paper... And you really drop some some sketches and some lines, you know, on your little whiteboard in your room. Yeah, you can connect some dots and there's some similarities or maybe yeah. there's like some hocus pocus in there. You can be like, hmm, I can kind of see why this is possible. Yeah. But at the same time, like niggas kill niggas all the time, bro. People kill people all the time. Not even just niggas, but like people kill people yeah. all the time. Um, Especially if you're in the middle of the hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're in gang territory. It's and not he, any ruin is pride. Like he right. told him, "Don't come around here. Like you're not welcome here. Right, you're a right. snitch. You with the feds. So get the fuck off my shit." Right. Dude's pride got hurt, and right. But it's not that. That's the thing. It's not that weird that that happened. Yeah. It's not like brothers know. Now it'd be different if you wake up, you get on Twitter, and you see oh, Nipsey Hussle falls fifty feet from his balcony, but he was by himself. Then you're like, yeah. wait, what? Then and they try to it. yeah, and they try to give you some cover up story like oh maybe he was drunk off pills and he just fell off. Yeah. Then that, now it sounds crazy. Or his car was found in the middle of the desert on fire and this nigga was dead. Sounds crazy. Yeah. He mysteriously got sick like the other dude. Sounds crazy. Him being shot on video. video camera and kicked in the head on it's video not camera. That, it's not that weird. It's unfortunate, but it's not weird. Yeah, it's, it's not anything that we have to run to conspiracy theories to to figure out to explain this to us yeah so that shit was ass as fuck and it was just another example of the fucking internet and y'all will go for anything y'all fall for anything like i love a good you know hocus pocus story yeah. too but not that one not nah, that one was it's crazy because in the video this dude shot him walked away a few steps came back shot him again walked away a few more steps mm -hmm. came back popped him again then ran up on him and kicked him in the head and then ran off. See, and that's why when I first seen the video, to me, it almost felt like it was a hit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to get the job done. I feel like most people, when they go to murder someone in broad daylight, it's like a, fa fa fa. you just kind of flee the scene. You're out of there. Yeah, you want nothing to do with that. There. He had to make sure this nigga was dead. There's no coming back for this nigga. Like, yeah. he has to be dead because if he's not dead, I might die type shit. Yeah. So, that shit was pretty, pretty crazy. Um. And I also feel like the conspiracy theory shit is kind of disrespectful to his own wife. Yeah. Since everyone wants to be super respectful to his wife and shit, and we'll get to that in just a second, isn't that disrespectful as fuck? Yeah. Now, you no. know what? Fuck it. We'll go straight to it, to the Kodak shit. So, Kodak. Let me drive Kodak it Kodak Black is under extreme heat <laughs> by uh, rappers like uh, Tip Harris, um, The Game. Uh, I think Tank said something. He's not a rapper, but Tank said something. I'm sure other rappers said yeah. something. Radio stations are banning his music. 
Uh, I even seen one thing online, people telling him, like, he needs to be banned from the United States. He needs to go back to Haiti. Yeah, wild shit. I don't even know if he's ever been to Haiti, but, you know, I'm, I'm seeing shit like that. I seen, he had, I guess he had some artwork up in Atlanta, Yeah, in a trap and they, museum. It was taken down. It down. I've seen some reports to say it was taken down. I've seen some say T.I. took it down. I don't I don't know. You know you know how the internet goes, bro. Yeah. But um, everyone's super upset and super mad. Yo, Kodak, you so disrespectful. Da, da, da. Yes, I am a Kodak Black fan, so I will start off with that. I will let that be known. But at the same time, was it disrespectful what he said? It's like, mm, yeah, but no. no it's almost yeah. like if the camera wasn't on, what he said really wouldn't have been that bad. Just what he some said, normal dude shit. Yeah, really wouldn't have been that weird yeah. in comparison to what I'm sure a lot of other entertainers and rappers have also said yeah. after the situation. Yeah. Now, from my understanding, Kodak Black and Nipsey Hussle didn't, they weren't close friends. Yeah. I don't even know if they ever met. I'm not sure. Um, they don't have any songs together. Mm -mm. They're not homies, my nigga. Like, yeah. T.I.P., you know what I'm saying? Nipsey might be your homie. Yeah. The game, Nipsey Hussle might mean a lot to you. To certain entertainers out there, Nipsey Hussle means a lot to you guys because you have a personal relationship with yeah. him. So it's different for you. Mm -hmm. So you're going to you're gonna feel a certain type of way. Yeah. But for niggas that don't know him. At all. And a nigga that comes from the streets, it's like, nigga, niggas die all the time. Yeah. Kodak probably feels niggas die all the time. But I done seen my own partners get killed. I done seen my own brothers get yeah. killed. My classmates get killed. My family members get killed. Yeah, Nipsey Hussle is someone great to you. But I don't really know that nigga like that. So to yeah. me, it's just another nigga that got hit up. It's yeah. just another day. And then even with the video that I'm seeing, I mean, he said... I'll give her a year to cry, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, I didn't. I don't, I don't know if he said no disrespect to dude. And I think he even said in the video, I'm not trying to shoot at her. Yeah. I'm just saying I'll give her a da 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 And for T.I. to come out there and act like mm -hmm. he is just so upset and he can't believe that shit. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, T.I., you capping, my nigga. That's how I feel. I honestly I don't feel like you're that mad. That bullshit. <laughs> yeah, and that's what, that's what I don't get. I thought you were supposed to be fucking T.I.P. T.I. Rubber Band Man. You're supposed to be the OG. You're supposed to be yeah. a grown ass nigga, you know, really about your shit. Yeah. Why the fuck would you get on Instagram Live to tell to give Kodak a message? <laughs> That's like if me and you are arguing and I'm on Instagram Live telling people to tell you something, or if I'm Steven, you need to do this and that. A nigga, why video. the fuck? Nigga, I got your phone number. We're roommates. We are roommates. But I'm saying, like, yeah. I got your phone yeah. number. I can hit you, like, hey, bro, this is the situation, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. T.I., all rappers, Hollywood is small at the end of the day. Y'all all gonna run into each other. T.I., if you want Kodak's phone number, you can get it like that, I'm Quick. sure. Yeah. And if you don't need his phone number, nigga, you can DM this nigga for free. You don't even gotta find it. You can just DM yeah. it. You could have been like, hey, bro, whatever you did, I wasn't fucking with it. This is why I'm not mm -hmm. fucking with it. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. That would have made the situation way, way easier to fix than when you publicly try to strong arm niggas and apologize. Yeah. Same thing with the game. Man, this goes for Kodak Black and any other nigga. Da, 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 da. Y'all new generation motherfuckers. Bro, you acting like a new generation motherfucker on the internet. Yeah. My nigga, hit this nigga up personally and tell him how you feel and, and talk Handle about it. whatever needs to be talked yeah. about. Because that probably would have went better. Than you publicly doing it Cause now this nigga Has to publicly respond And Pretty much like he said bro Y'all trying to little boy me On the internet When y'all could've just Hit my line Yeah Like He even said In his apology That I'm about to play That Like Dude made me wanna uh, Give back to my own community da -da 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 -da. Yeah Like yeah, He was talking good about and it And people say I mean I get the disrespectful part Like bro Why are you calling this nigga dude Like he has a name And I, I do get that Like Yeah it is kinda like you could have said Nipsey Hussle, bro. You don't got to keep referring to him yeah. as dude. But again, I don't know this nigga. You yeah. have a personal connection with it. That's your partner. That's your homeboy. Yeah. He is not my homeboy. The same way if, if X died and that's uh, Kodak's homeboy, yeah. the game might refer to X as dude. Yeah, I didn't know little dude. And no one would have said anything. We would have been like, oh, true. Yeah. But y'all niggas are in your feelings and... Y'all acting like y'all don't know how the game go, bro. Y'all yeah. acting like you don't know that it's a cold game out here, nigga. It's a dirty game. Put your fucking jacket on. It's a cold world. Like, eventually, his girl's gonna have to fuck somebody else. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's too, we don't want to talk about it now. Maybe it's a little soon. It's gonna happen, no? She's probably never gonna fuck with Kodak. I don't think he really sat there and thought, you yeah. know, oh, we're about to be. I'm sure it was just, it's studio talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's not a good idea that it was on camera. 
But at the same time, it didn't look to me that he was recording on live trying to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk. He was just like in the studio with like some other niggas, the phone was down, mm-hmm. and they're just having conversation. Yeah. I don't think he got online to talk about this situation. Nah, but at all. I'm going to play the little uh, apology or whatever whatever you want to call it. I'm sorry. And rest in peace to do. Y'all already know what I said. I said do encourage me to do shit for the community. But anyhow, my bad to them too. But for all you other people like trying to fake act like y'all love boy me on the internet or checking me on the internet. That's how you feel, bro. That's how y'all want to feel. And that's all we need. That, that, that's that's yeah. pretty much everything I said. I don't know, man. Like, what what did they expect him to do? Like, I, I guarantee he's not the only one who's thought that way. He's not the only one that said those same things. Yeah. Like, what's worse is we we both know that people closer to Nipsey Hussle and closer to Lauren London have said that same thing. It just yeah. wasn't on camera. Yeah. And they probably were saying it in a worse way. No, like, nah, I am it, trying to shoot at her actually. Like, nah, yeah. I actually do got her number. I'm probably gonna hit her up and ask her like if she's cool. Yeah. Uh, but for niggas to be in the game so long and to be out here. And, and act like they got experience. Y'all should already know how it goes. Y'all niggas in your feelings, bro. And it's a situ- it's a tough situation to say just don't be in your feelings. But it's yeah. different. If you would have got on camera and been like, yo, fuck Nipsey. His music wasn't even good. That nigga's ass. Yeah. I'm going to fuck his bitch. Then I would not be sitting here having this yeah. conversation. I'd be like, yo, Kodak, I fuck with you. Music's good. But you kind of tweaking. And I see why niggas is down your throat mm-hmm. right now. No homo. Yeah. Because, you know, you kind of went out there and said some flagrant shit. Yeah. But, nigga, you didn't say anything no different than what I'm going to say. And what other people are going to say is just... Niggas want a strong arm. Niggas want to play on the internet. Ti, you capping. You a legend, but you capping the game. You capping. Uh, y'all niggas is emotional. And for everyone on the internet acting like, man, we can't fuck with Kodak no more. We can't do. Half those people are probably the same people who are on the internet talking about conspiracy theories, <laughs> which is probably more disrespectful to his legacy yeah. and to his family. That's not what they're trying to hear. My husband just got shot, and you're over here talking about some fucking... Conspiracy The shit. fucking FBI jumping out of helicopters, killing my husband over a documentary. Shut the fuck up. You guys sound crazy. Yeah. I'm sure that's pissing her off a lot more than this little 15-second mm. clip of Kodak yeah, Black in the studio sure. saying whatever the fuck he Hell yeah. Saying, that shit... Uh, and... At the end of that video we just watched, he he apologized again and said, sorry if I offended her, but I know I didn't. Right. Like, cause See, but people aren't going to take that apology just because yeah. he said, I know I didn't. Yeah. I mean, but I, he, I, but I get what he's saying. Bro. Yeah, yeah. In the sense that, bro, y'all, this is what I don't get, man. Y'all always want street dudes to be street dudes. Y'all want them to be authentic. Y'all want them to be yeah. real until it's some shit you don't like. Yeah. He's, he's acting like a normal street nigga, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't know you. Niggas die every day. This is not my yeah. first go around. Like, oh, Nipsey got shot. Damn, fuck. Shit, RP the dude, man. He was cool. Taught me a yeah. lot. Yeah. What you want this nigga to do? Pay a tribute to a nigga he doesn't know just because y'all are, y'all know him. Yeah. He even made a video as soon as he got shot. As soon as he got shot, he's like, damn, dude just got shot up, man. Hope everything okay, blah, 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 See, blah. See, but no one's going to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, no one... but they just want to talk about the video where they. it sounds like he's trying to holler at his girl. but Right. But he wasn't. Yeah. People love outrage. Man. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, man, sad situation. Mm-hmm. R.P. Nipsey Hussle. Uh, I would say I'll pray, but I'll probably forget. Um. You know, Lauren, my condolences to the family. Yeah, condolences to the family, his kids, Lauren London. Yeah. Um, sad situation. I don't know where she moves on from there. That was one of those relationships that, what you've seen it, you couldn't even, you couldn't hate. Yeah. Unless you were just that much of a hateful motherfucker. But the normal person, even if you wanted to fuck his bitch, you was like, these people look great together. They look like soulmates. They look like friends. You was yeah. happy for them. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man. RIP to that guy. RIP. Hopefully his legacy continues. Mm-hmm. And like he said, man, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, so. Finish that hell. He said it, man. Nick Cannon said he gonna finish that bitch. He grabbed the baton. He gonna run to the finish line. He gonna do the goddamn thing. Oh, yeah. And uh, we gonna do the same thing in a different way, you know what I'm saying? Because we're already going to the top, baby. <laughs> hey, man, a million subscribers coming soon. Real fucking soon. We Real going soon. crazy, man. Hard from the start. Go stupid. Hard by cow. Go crazy. This Deucey guy. Steve. Stevie Steve. Yeah, Steezy Steve. Juicy Steve. You know what I'm saying? Another the goat, the man, here. the myth, the legend. Oh, yeah. You say he's going to die? Huh? Maybe. Nah. 
Yeah, hopefully not, man. Yes. Sir. But um, yeah, man. We just want to pay a little tribute to Nipsey Hustle, man. We just wanted to come in here and give y'all some content. More shit on the way. Podcast coming soon. Other shit that I'm not gonna say right now. This guy does uh, I'm gonna say Twitch again. He streams. Live stream video games. More mostly Fortnite. Uh, Twitch.com slash Juicy Steve Twelve. You know what I'm saying? I'll be on there. I try to be on there every single day, morning, and night. It don't matter what time it is. I try to get on when I can. Oh wow. I try to do two, three hours a day type shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, what's that thing you do? That YouTube video thing? Oh, I do a little YouTube thing. Yeah. I get on there from time to time, man. Okay. Uh, Heart by Cal, Heart from the Star. Y'all go check that out on YouTube, man. Yeah. I get exclusive interviews coming with dreamers, entrepreneurs, artists, producers. And I got some shit dropping this week, actually. Whoa. I'm not going to tell you about it. You'll have to see it. Subscribe yeah. to the channel. We appreciate you. Oh, yeah. iTunes. Spotify, right. no SoundCloud. Subscribe to the channel. I said that five times because I really need to stress that. Subscribe. Subscribe. This is the POV. Merch coming soon. Check it. Check See it how it looks on a white person. Look, all flavors can wear it. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, it almost looks better on your skin. Amazing. Coming soon. Y'all get that. For the low. Coming we'll see you next time. Near you. You dig? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Eat a dick. Suck a dick.